What up? What up, beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going over the best defensive adjustments in college football 25 to help you out. Okay, so make sure if you are OG on the channel, drop a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button. It's free. Every year in football, you have what people call cheese plays. And every single year, I find the best counters against them. If you want to be able to lock down all the cheese plays in NCAA 25 and Madden 25, make sure that you go in the link in the description and get the ebook or become a Patreon member. Shout out to everybody that's been showing support. The best thing you can do on defense is make your opponent play to what you want them to do. What do I mean by that? I'm willing to give up two and three yard dump offs. I don't want to give up one play touchdowns, 20 yard passes. So with that in mind, as you can see, Tampa two on the right side, the solo receiver on the left is manned up. I individually shaded him to the outside. If you need help with all these quick adjustments, make sure you let me know in the comment section and I will break it down. It's also in my ebook and my Patreon. So we get a turnover on downs. Next possession, up 35 to 18. My opponent hits the tight end quick. So that's with me being aggressive, blitzing more people. Small adjustment. I'm going to drop one of them linebackers into a hook. You can see him right there in the middle of the field. So that's going to make my opponent take his eyes off of him and throw it to someone else. And we have an inside third right there with the adjustments because I come out in a cover three shell, but I'm never giving my opponent a cover three shell. I'm in a cover three shell. I might man up two people. I'm in a cover three shell. I might put a Tampa two, turn it into a cover four. This is what you have to do to be better at the game. Okay, so you can see we leave that guy wide open. Two to three yard dump offs. That's how I want my opponents to move down the field. If he don't take the dump off, it's a chance that it's going to be a covered sack. Right there, he does take the two to three yard dump off. Third and 13. Tampa 2 on the right side. We got the solo guy, cross man with the safety, and a vert hook. I'm user in the right side. I don't want my opponent to be able to scramble. Right here, as long as the pressure gets to him, it's going to be great defense. I take the underneath route. He has a great setup with a backside dig. So this brings up a fourth and one. He does a speed option. We laid a boom stick on him, but he gets the first down. But he's using so much clock right here. We drop a 15 yard hook, it's three receivers. I realize when he puts three people on one side, it's usually a verticals play, he's trying to get big yardage. Those adjustments, the same adjustments you can be making, cross man that safety with the third receiver. When it's three receiving threats, he's been trying to run verticals, trying to get the big play, great coverage all the way around, the pressure gets to him, and we walk away with a 42 to 18 victory okay one step closer to the national championship and this is against the number one team in the game georgia bulldogs not some random team unranked this is against georgia only giving up 18 points in four quarters if you enjoyed the breakdown if you run a cover four disguise it put a cover two on one side cross man extra people Cover three, same thing. If you run in a Tampa two, make sure that you know where you put your adjustments at and you cover the opposite side of the field. Let's get it. 